Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. Today we are in Iowa, which is a state that uh, I don't have anything against Iowa. I, I feel like I don't, I don't have enough feelings about it one way or the other to really have an opinion. Most of what I know about it is that uh, one time when I was uh, a kid, like three quarters of the state flooded and it didn't seem like a very big deal. Here we've got a uh, almost $12 million, eight bed, 15 bath home. Let's let's see what the, what the price tag is all about. Here's a daytime shot and we can see we are on a waterfront of some sort and we can see the shadow of the camera person, that's cute. I, I'm kind of at this round window it's it's a little chaotic in terms of styling like I'm getting some modern style I'm getting like a, a Frank Lloyd Wright prairie style with the sprawling uh, kind of shape to it but it, it feels like it hasn't really decided what it is here's the view from above we can see that it do, it kind of wraps around the driveway here it looks like we've got some, maybe some covered greenery for, for gardening or something there. Who's, let's, let's find out. All right, here is the main room of the house, which is all open concept, very, very open concept. We've got like five different rooms, maybe more in here. Uh, we've got a stage with a grand piano. So I'm assuming they're doing some sort of entertaining where they've got like, a, you know, maybe someone here is a performer or something. Who knows? Uh, we've got a big old skylight lighting and lots of natural light. I got the kitchen over here with lots of big modern shapes. Everything in here is like this, this piece of art that's dangling here. Very modern. Um, the, the space is too big to have just one seating area. So we got... Two seating areas, oh, three, four, four seating areas in this room. We've got a dining table. We've got a kitchen island with 10 million chairs at it. At that point, it's just a bar, especially with the piano here. This, this does not seem like the living space of a home. It seems like a hotel lobby. It seems like a banquet hall. It seems like you know, a professional place to entertain or something like that, which, I mean, if that's the lifestyle you're living, I, I guess, but I, I would not feel like I could just go hang out on that couch, one of these couches and, and just be calm, you know? Here's the kitchen. This is such an interesting um, installation here because that's, that's, I don't think that's like an art piece that you could just mount on there. That had to have been built into the house, which that's a bold choice to make because, I mean, it's it's built in then. The house is built around this piece. You really got to commit to it. Looks like we've got a, a large, oh, there's a pasta arm. I see a pasta arm. All right, we're getting points up. I was all ready to complain about everything, but we've got a pasta arm. And this is some very cool wood work on the floor. It looks like maybe we got some marble inset there. Um, I mean, it's all very modern, very um, distinctive and artistic. This, this house was created with an artistic eye, I believe. Uh, which is cool to see because you you don't really see that much anymore. It's it's not a generic McMansion that's um, you know just been hacked together with with caricatures of what you think a rich person house is gonna look like. Um, this was a designed space. Um, that said, I I do you know you you gotta hope that those artistic touches stand the test of time and don't become tacky and outdated in a decade or two. Uh, here's, here's hoping. All right. Oh, we got a little conference space. This is, this is very hotel-like to me, especially this carpet. Like that's, that's hotel carpet. 
Here's the piano with this big modern art piece above, a little less permanent than whatever is over the kitchen area there, but it's it's still, a, they designed this space to have a, a big hanging uh, light fixture slash art piece above it. And and just having the stage here is, is very distinct. I, I'm sure you could come up with something else to use that space for, but um, it seems like it was intentionally set aside for a performance space. This is a, kind of a dark space. We got some big windows and a view out on the water, maybe? Um, very shadowy picture. I can't really tell what these sculptures are. I'm a little concerned that that might be a headdress of some sort. What is, what is with the rich people and the appropriative art? What is it? What is it? Maybe it's by an indigenous artist. We don't know. This bedroom is architecturally intense. I, I kind of like having shelving over the bed like this. There's some things that's nice about it. Um, it's, it's convenient. Uh, the downside, of course, is that you have to dust that just constantly or else you've got dusty shelves over your head while you're sleeping. And I don't know about you, but I have some allergies and that would, that would not do well for me. Uh, these beams coming out over here, those are, they're not attached to anything. They, I mean, they do match the actual rafters, but they're, they're actually being suspended off the wall here and they stop here. So it's just like, like a giant phallus hanging off the wall. What's the point of that? Is it supposed to be a light fixture? Cause it's got two little cam lights in it. Um, I'm not, I, I don't know that I like that. In comparison to that giant, very modern, very posh uh, space, this is a little jarring because this just seems like somebody's family room. Like it's it's a nice space. Um, the the furniture is fine. Yeah, you know, the the fireplace setup is is kind of cool. But again, it's like this this seems like someone's wealthy grandparents' uh, house, and and I don't understand how that fits in with Elton John's living room. Usually when you take pictures for a listing like this, they take them during the day so you've got natural light and they turn all of the light interior lights on. It looks like they've left these lights off and I don't think we have much uh, external light in this room either. Uh, obviously, we got a giant jac round jacuzzi tub. Uh, we got some interesting lights set in the wall here. It looks like that one is out. Um, that might be a sign of a downside of these sorts of fancy artistic uh, built-in light fixtures that maybe those are hard to tend to. They didn't even bother changing that light bulb before they took the picture. Got a closet again, not much in the way of natural light. This is a very dark house. Uh, we've seen a lot of houses that have just walls and walls of pane glass windows. To see this in comparison, very dark. Uh, these closets look a little old fashioned. Obviously it's a nice big walk-in closet, but we've, we've seen what the, the posh hyper wealthy are getting from closets and more and the professional closet organizers in other houses and this is not it uh this this is a, a built-in closet from another era the wood looks cheap and look look at that that's not what i would expect in a 12 million dollar house i think i'm starting to see why maybe uh these pictures are so dark because you've got a giant window here um and either they didn't time it correctly so that the sun would be coming through this window but i what i suspect is that there's so much greenery around the house that that the house itself is not getting much natural light when the trees are, are full like this which from a an energy conservation standpoint is not necessarily a bad thing. 
Uh, I, I have a similar situation at my house where it, at the, the height of summer, when the sun is, is doing nothing but beaming through your windows and making the air conditioner work harder, uh, my trees on that side of the house are full and, and don't let the sun shine through. So um, not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, picture wise, I would expect a professional photographer who takes pictures of houses of this caliber to be bringing in spotlights and things like that uh, if, if they were having trouble with lighting. This doesn't even look like a desk that you would have in an office. This looks like a reception desk. Um, maybe it is. I mean, you've, you've got this countertop here and it, it looks like you're facing a walkway. Um, so I'm not, why do you need a reception desk? Another very dark picture. Uh, this is very much a conference room. This is not a dining table. This is a corporate conference room. Again, you've got a skylight here. You've got the internal lights on. Why is it so freaking dark in here? This seems to be more of an actual office and they've done, oh, I think they just turned the flash on for this room. Um, oh, if that's what you gotta do. Got a guitar in the corner that's kind of backing up the idea there might be a musician here. Got another conference table, and we know that that one's a conference table and not a dining table because the desk is right here. We got a blue chair here, but the, the rest is very monotone with the orange wood walls and floors, the orange wood furniture and uh not not much in the way of color but we do have a spectacular view of the water out here uh so this is probably an instance where they they felt like they didn't really need to do much with the interior design because you just put up a huge fucking window and boom it's beautiful oh we have an industrial kitchen and this is uh, this is an addition to that kind of show kitchen upstairs which which is uh in the in elton john's living room um so this is where the actual cooks probably hired caterers are, are scurrying around like little ants in the background uh and this is i mean this is the kind of kitchen setup you would see in a restaurant everything a professional catering service would need we've got a little sitting room here that it does look like it's meant to be maybe a, a family room of some sort. This to me looks a little stilt, but for, for one thing, you've got 10,000 pillows on this couch. Where is anyone even gonna sit? Um, second, it just, it kind of looks like a therapy room. Like this is, this is for in-home therapy. The, the light fixture here is interesting. So I will give it that. And I do like how they have, chosen a dark stain for this this wood framing on the wall uh, to contrast the white this is the third kitchen in this house what the hell uh we have a refrigerator that is disguised to look like a cabinet because of course you can't let them know you eat you can't let them know that the wealthy are human beings who must consume food or else they will die this seems like a pretty simplistic uh, kitchen setup compared to what we've got elsewhere. It's, I mean, it's everything that you need. I see some Chinese lettering on these rugs here. I bet, I bet that someone told them that this means serenity and it means head lice. Other than that, this room looks kind of bleh. I mean, it, look, it looks like a hotel room. The carpet's ugly. The walls are white. I think that's a stain on the ceiling. Um, the curtains are fine. The bedspread is dated. Um, I, it looks like we've got, I, I've seen this in a couple other rooms now that I'm thinking about it. Looks like maybe a, an intercom system for the whole house, which if you need an intercom system for your house, uh, your house is too big. And also, uh, it is the year 2022, and we have cell phones, so that's your intercom right there. Another dark room. 
Oh, we've got a TV, of course, so that you could ruin your sleep hygiene. We've got cherry blossoms, which are Japanese, not Chinese. So I'm, I'm starting to lean more toward the cultural appropriation theory. We've got, it looks like multiple intercom systems going. Oh, I don't, what is the deal with that? Okay, here's some information about the property. Oh, oh, this is an interesting art piece here. Um, it's it's again one that's very large and, and seems to be built into the property somehow. Um, or at least it's specifically this, this ring was fitted around it. I kind of like that. I'm not sure what these two little chairs over I, this is a strange little setup here i'm not sure what's going on there we've got the in-home movie theater of course because every mansion needs an in-home movie theater uh we've got no shortage of cup holders i assume that's what these are cup holders um and ten thousand pillows so there's no space to actually sit in here uh, but at least they've made the space dark which isn't that difficult in this house because this house is very dark. Okay, this so this is the concessions area for the movie theater. But I also have to point out there's there's a stove here. I assume there's you know, like coffee maker sink. This is the fourth kitchen in this house and I like a good kitchen. I don't need four in one house. That's ridiculous. Um, this, I think this is a good example of artistic stuff that gets, that's like built into this house that is becoming dated because this whole movie theater setup, it's like, I think this is 90s. I, I don't think it's quite 80s, but it's out, it's outdated. The, these stools here, those are like, 90s bowling alley stool covers and, and this these discs the stacked discs that's really screaming 90s to me oh my god is this this is an irish pub built into this house i assume we are in a basement and they've got a full fucking irish pub and and Kevin O'Sullivan's. Okay, I am I am not one to to jump at uh, you know the Irish are oppressed. The Irish have been oppressed historically in the U.S. It's been a minute since they were. Uh, I'm Irish. I'm 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 not usually jumping on like oh like he culturally appropriating the like if the owners of this home are not themselves Irish. This is offensive to the Irish. Uh, everything about this is like oh, Kevin O'Sullivan's Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Here's the inside of the Irish pub. Um, we can see they've got a big selection of booze uh, and a, this is a full fucking bar. This is this is an entire bar and it's inside a small part of someone's house. What the shit? I mean, I guess, I guess we run into a lot of houses that don't seem to know what to do with all of their square footage and they've, they've come up with a creative answer. It's very authentic. I, I feel like I've been in this bar before. Um... Uh, oh, we've got a we've got a billiards table. If you don't have a billiards table in your mansion, are you really rich? I feel like we're still in a basement. Um, the basement on this house must be gigantic. Is this like a bunker? Is it supposed to like last through the nuclear winter? I see an oven in the wall. I sure as shit hope that is not from the fifth kitchen and that there's one of the kitchens that we've seen so far over here, but I just don't know anymore. I don't know how many kitchens they can fit. Was Do you think there was another kitchen at the back of the Irish pub? I feel like they were trying too hard to be authentic. Like you don't, in a, in a 
an American Irish pub. You don't have a kitchen at the back. Uh, you have a microwave where you reheat frozen fish sticks. That's traditional. So that's what I'm going to tell myself is that they just had a microwave back there. We've got beautiful ceilings, beautiful tin ceilings. Uh, this seems to be a family room. Again, we've got this intercom system. The issue that I find with some of these built-in home entertainment systems is that trends on TVs change so, so quickly over time. I guess they're doing fine with this one. I, I, I'm glad that they don't have a fireplace under it because you have to really specifically size that TV and it would be a pain in the ass to replace it all the time. All right, we've got, is this in the pub? I think this is in the pub. Yeah, those, those windows, we are in the Irish pub. We've got a full stage. So yes, I think we definitely have a musician living here. We've got a full stage for a full band. Interesting. Um, still absolutely bonkers to me that this is inside the house. Oh, and we're back at a bedroom. <laughs> How about that? Um, I feel like this bedroom is probably boring, but I feel like if I, if I didn't like this bedroom because it's too boring, it would be because I was just desensitized to everything by the insanity in the basement. And I feel like if I did like it because it's simplistic, it would also be because of the basement and I'm just so relieved to see something normal. So I'm not really sure what opinion to form about this. I don't like the windows. I'll tell you that these windows, um, first of all, there's no curtains on them. There's no window treatments here. Uh, and second of all, just the way that they're sandwiched into the wall here, it reminds me of the kind of windows that you see in a school classroom. And I, I, I don't like that for a bedroom. All right, we've got a little sitting area. Um, I have no idea where we are in this house anymore. This is just a little TV area with some, is that cultural appropriation art? I can't tell. Um, I, I think that's definitely cultural appropriation art. At this point, there, unless this is the most multicultural family in all of creation. And let me tell you, it's not cultural appropriation to own decor from other cultures. I do want to clarify that. Unless you are so wealthy that you belong to the oppressor class, in which case every little knickknack that you own uh from an uh, an oppressed culture is is put under increased scrutiny um you get you get a pass if you've ethically and and enthusiastically purchased from a member of that group um and and compensated them fairly you get points against if you have engaged in any activities directly or indirectly uh, which have actively oppressed that class, uh, which I believe the vast majority of uh, the wealthy are always in a state of oppressing minority cultures. And again, I've just noticed that these chairs are leopard print. Um, I can't, I'm not strong enough. I'm, I'm, I'm not strong enough to process these leopard print chairs next to what looks like African art in this home. I can't do it. I can't do it. <sighs> okay, this room is less upsetting to me. We've got a nice patio. Patio looks, I don't know, wet. I don't know. Uh, this is a hotel room. What this, this is literally, it's it's a double queen hotel room. Uh, we've got the in-home uh, intercom over here. We've got the TV and the desk. Uh, yeah, you've got all of the necessary components of a hotel room. I assume there is a little uh, Mr. Coffee single cup coffee maker on the, on the counter there. We got a workout room uh, that does not seem to have, no, it's all cardio. All cardio all the time. We are not doing any strength building. <laughs> Look, 
the only weights they have are like little finger weights. I that's like a I think that's a five pounder and that's as high as they go. Uh okay. We've got yet another sitting room. I, I feel like you would get lost with all of these sitting rooms. And I feel like, you know what I was saying, that I, I wouldn't feel cozy enough or comfortable enough to go sit in Elton John's living room. Um, but I think it would also be the simplest place to go if you were trying to coordinate with someone on the intercom. You're, you know, you're on the intercom like, oh, can you meet me in the living room? Which one? And then you'd be like, uh, the big one. And you would just say that every time because it's the easiest. No. No. <laughs> it's the fifth kitchen. I'm, I'm going to lose it. This is the fifth kitchen in this house. What the fuck? What in the ever? Oh my. <sighs> can't I can't do it and another bedroom and it's very boring and it looks like a hotel if I went to a hotel and they gave me this room I would not be happy because this is a sad little room there's not even art on the walls um it's it's too small it's just a small little room with a desk and a tv and school windows yep this one is also sad. Look, they painted the ceiling the same as the walls so that you feel like you're in a box. Can lights in the ceiling. And it's it's just a sad little space. Um, here's a bathroom with a laundry in the corner here. I get that it, it might be convenient to have the laundry there, but also this house is gigantic. This house is a full Irish pub recreated in the basement. You didn't have space for a laundry room down there. I, I gotta, I gotta question it. I feel like they should have space for a laundry room somewhere in this house. Though, look, they've got a, a hook for hang drying things that are just gonna drip on the floor. Really? You didn't have room for that in a laundry room? They've they've got a laundry table here. No, they've put a full, this is not like a convenience auxiliary washer dryer in this house. This is the laundry room and they crammed it into a bathroom to make room for the pub. Okay, we got, we've got a golf course. I assume adjacent to the property, but maybe on the property. Who knows? I don't know what's real anymore. Oh, there's there's the the golf course is next adjacent to the property. Thank you for clarifying. I was I was curious. Um, I, I don't know what we're looking at here. Oh, here's the floor plan. Got a master suite that includes. The conference, the conference room is part of the master suite. Talk about not having a work-life balance, that you've got a conference room in your master suite. Christ, all live. All right, this is Elton John's living room here. We've got a kitchen, which it actually, it looks like there's a window that goes through to the caterer's kitchen, which was the giant the giant kitchen and I love that because it allows you to pretend that you're cooking where you could like act busy at the oven and then just do pull like a clown car and just pull impossible amounts <laughs> of food out of the front oven because the caterers just keep passing it through to you I love that I love the theater of it uh, we've got the lake room the concert grand the fireside room. I love that they've named these. Oh, and this one's the great room. I think I think my name for it, Elton John's living room, is is a way apter name. Um, this was that giant statue that we looked at. Uh, that's just on the landing of these stairs. The bar is off to the side here. Uh, it looks like maybe that's not in the basement. It's it's just kind of tucked off into the corner here. This is literally so sad. This is someone's bedroom and, you know, bathroom, dressing room, sharing a wall with their conference room, sharing a wall with their office. 
I, I spent six months working from my one bedroom apartment, uh, where my desk was, was three feet away from my couch in, in my living space, because there was, there was just the living space and my bedroom and that was it. And I was so fucking depressed from having my workstation that close to everything else in my life. Why would you choose this? You've got so much floor space. You've got so much to work with here and you choose to put your work that close to where you sleep. That's so sad. That's deranged. That's just unhealthy. All right, here's the upper level. There's not much in the upper level. Everything's mostly on the same floor. Uh, it looks like we've got some other bedrooms and another kitchen and dining area upstairs. This is called Peter's room. Good for, and that's Sam's room. Oh, the, these must have been, these are probably the drawings from when they designed the house, which is why it's actually got people's names on there. Um, that means that this is someone's living here full time. Um, and it looks like maybe this, this little space has been set aside as a separate living space for Peter and Sam, uh, whoever that is. They've got their own living room and kitchen dining room. This is like a little apartment. This one has me a little confused because I'm seeing some things that I know were on the main level, like this, this lake room and the bar with a gajillion stools around it. Um, you got a women's room and men's room. This is, I mean, this is really like a public space here, but I'm also, I'm not seeing like that grand piano space. So I don't know what level we're on. I see Bucky's room and Ren's bedroom. Um, here's a, the home theater over here. This is a whole little apartment for Jesse, Jesse's bedroom, Jesse's living area. I mean, I think this explains why there's so many goddamn kitchens in here is that they just crammed a bunch of little apartments for different family members. They, they really couldn't share space. I mean, really? You, you couldn't share a kitchen? You're that bad at washing your dishes? You can hire a maid. I think you could have shared a, a space and then the maid wouldn't have had to clean four, no, five, five goddamn kitchens. Uh, here we've got the caretaker's apartment. So you've got a live-in uh, caretaker, which is over the garage so that they get woken up every time you come home. Awesome. Um, but at least they've got two bedrooms. You know what? I like that there's a guest bedroom in the caretaker's apartment. Um, it's a good, you know what? It is a good sized living space, um, for staff. I'll, I'll give it that at least. This, so this is the space with that, uh, bathroom with the laundry machine in it, uh, which makes way more sense. You can read that if you really want to. Here's another underwhelming bedroom. Um, oh, this is this is the caretaker's apartment. I, I bet you anything. But that also makes this the sixth. There's the sixth kitchen in this place. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, there's the caretaker's living room. And there's the garage. All right. All right, that's that's Iowa. And I think what we've gleaned from Iowa is that uh, the rich here don't have great work-life boundaries, um, that they, they're bad at sharing kitchens, um, and they, there's this, okay, what, what I find really interesting here is this kind of double-sidedness where everything that is, is front-facing, is guest-facing, is very modern, very, uh, artistic, very out there, 
Um, and then everything that is family facing, the family space is kind of outdated and, and frumpy and not that nice. Um, which, which gives me a sense that there's like putting on this front, you know, that it, it's all for show, which, which tracks, honestly. Um, but yeah, what a giant, ridiculous house. All right, that's Iowa. Um, if you are from Iowa, feel free to leave me an Iowa fact in the comments, uh, or, you know, whatever comments you want to leave. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.